Here in Sandusky Bay, you can see in some spots there's a greenish tinge to the water. An oceanographer for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says that's a sign of an algae bloom. The bloom has only started in Sandusky Bay, which is typical. It usually starts in May there. So far, NOAA oceanographer Dr. Rick Stump says the bloom hasn't spread to other parts of the lake like it had by this time last year, but heavy rainfall could affect when and how the bloom happens. So weather patterns affect that, the amount of rain in the spring, the, the temperature in the summer affects the timing of the bloom, and then the, the front sun winds in the fall affect when it goes away. Scientists say here in Lake Erie, algae blooms are primarily caused by agricultural runoff, including phosphorus. Cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae, then produce a green scum, and in some cases, a toxin. The toxin itself can be a danger to swimmers or to uh, pets, to dogs. And also, there's it requires um, extra effort in treating, uh, treating the water to make sure the toxin's removed from uh, drinking water. All the plants in, in around um, Lake Erie do a great job of that. We've come to a point now where it's not a question of uh, if there will be an algae bloom. We know there will be an algae bloom. It, now the question is how bad or how big it's going to be. Crystal M.C. Davis is the policy director at the Alliance for the Great Lakes. She says scientists are predicting a worse algae bloom than in immediate years past due in part to heavy rainfall. She's hopeful Ohio lawmakers can make some changes with money in the state budget for the H2 Ohio plan. Lawmakers still have time to put some accountability metrics in place uh, so that the folks who get those funds know that um, they are being held accountable for clean water outcomes associated with that, with that funding. As for whether that could make a difference for this season's algae bloom, Davis says probably not. But I think that we have to do something. We have to be innovative. We have to work hard to come to uh, solutions for this water. Stump says people can take steps to be safe if there's an algae bloom in their area of the lake. If they see scum, definitely stay out of the water. Definitely keep your, if you have a dog, keep it out of the water as well. If the water looks fine and doesn't look like it has a bloom, you should be okay. NOAA says it produces a bulletin a couple of times a week showing where that algae bloom is occurring. We'll have a link to that on our website, news5cleveland.com. In Sandusky, Olivia Fecto, News 5.